Hey everybody, it's Mr. 95 Cents. We're here for Mr. 95 Cents Sport Card Adventures. Hey everybody, oh, we're going to be opening up the Big League Baseball. we got some Big League Baseball and we're going to be opening up. Feels like there's a lot of cards in there. Oh, how we doing everybody? Boy, it's, we're getting a lot of rain. I think uh, it was a very nice weekend. Hopefully everybody had a great Easter weekend. The weather around here was really nice. Uh, but all of a sudden now, starting yesterday, rain for the next four days and chilly and cold. And what are you going to do? I got the heat on. So anyway, before we go to our prizes, because uh, we got all kinds of stuff to do today. We got prizes. We got warehouse finds, car shop stories. We got box break, everything. We're going to have a, a, one big announcement. This Saturday, we won't be having the show because I'm going to be doing a, my first card show of the season on Sunday. Sunday, April 7th, which is this Sunday coming up, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., I'm going to be at the Independence Firehouse in Great Meadows, New Jersey, and we're going to have a nice show there. There's, there's usually about 30, 35 tables, nice crowd up in the country, the sticks, we'll say, and uh, I, I, I go up there, and uh, I got to go up a road uh, named Cat Swamp Road to get there, if that tells you anything. But anyway, very nice people. I've known Don that runs it for a long time. So if you get a chance, stop by. I'm going to do the show from there. Every now and then, I'm, the show season's starting now. I took my three months off. I hibernate like the bear does, right? And now I'm going to come out and start doing shows again uh, until next winter. I hope, I hope, God willing. And uh, so once in a blue moon, it'll be on a Sunday. So we'll do the show on Sunday instead. This way we can show you the show and show you something different uh, and give Don a little plug. I don't know how the internet's going to be up there. If I can upload it in the morning, I'll do it. If not, when I get back, it could be 5, 6 o'clock, but we're going to have our Saturday video come on Sunday instead, just to let everybody know what's going on. So you don't think I died or something if you don't see a Saturday video. Uh, oh, before we go to the prizes, I got a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, I got to shout out a couple channels. I got to shout out BCS Sports Cards. He's in my featured channels down below. I won his big uh, 200 subs giveaway. I got lucky. I got lucky. I just put it in. I got lucky. I, I got, uh, oh, it was a beautiful Andre Dawson autograph. So thanks a lot, BCS, for a great contest. And I got lucky. For, I'm, I'm riding the hot streak. What can I tell you? Also, oh, Jay's Mix. He's got a great channel down below there, Jay. And check him out. We did a nice little trade. And I'm going to show you some of the cards that I got. I sent him some nice stuff he liked, and I got some stuff. We got a, a nice Duke Snyder Legends card from Topps. We got a rated rookie, Calvin Ridley. We got a Dwayne Eskridge Select rookie. We got one of these nice mosaics, Deontay Johnson. We got a Bowman's Best, looks like a green refractor of Javier Baez, number 99. We got a Topps Michael Wacha jersey. I like this one. I, I, player of the day, you don't see these too often, because I, I know I... I gave away a lot of these packs, but this is a player today football like refractor number the 99. You don't see them too often. No. And then I got a nice, uh, it's the Topps Anniversary Black Mojo Refractor, Christian Yelich. And that one, uh, is that one numbered? Yeah, to 199. So thank you very much, Alex, for the trade. I appreciate it. I know you didn't have, you know, you didn't, uh, told me you don't have to make a video but i thought it was a nice trade so i'm making a little video there so check those two channels out and all my feature channels down below hours and hours of entertainment all right now we're going to get to the prizes so what do we got for prizes if you commented on the last video and you're a subscriber oh here goes the phone sorry one second and it's early oh hold on hello oh what's going on what's going on 
All right. Okay. All right. I'll see you on Thursday. All right. See you later. Take care. Oh, uh, Luke's a little under the weather, so he won't be in today. All right, he gave, he called up early. Gave me a lot of notice. <laughs> All right, so we got a, for first out of the box, if you, let me go back to it. If you commented on the last video and you're a subscriber, you got a chance for one of these prizes. We got first out of the box, it's a 222, 2022 Panini Contender Football Pack. Oh, I pulled this out of the archive. Second out of the box gets a Topps Chrome Rookie autographed of Matt Khalil. He was pretty good, Matt Khalil. What year is this from? 2012. I don't know if he's still around. Probably not. But uh, we got third out of the box gets a Chronicles, 2020 Chronicle Gridiron King Tua Rookie. And fourth out of the box gets a Chronicle Playoff the Momentum C.D. Lamb Rookie. All right. So we got our cards right there. We got our box. Let's throw this over there. All right. With a lot of tickets in there, we're going to hand mix them up. Uh, I want to mix them real good. Okay. Here we go. All right. And we're going to shake it up, too. All right, good luck to everybody. We're going for the pack first. I'm going in. Oop, I got up about three tickets in my hand. Hold on. I got to separate them. Here comes, here comes. Jeez, this is lucky. <laughs> so, I just had a new subscriber just this morning. Papa and Baby Bear. Hey, that's lucky. Let me tell you. I, I met him on a couple other channels. I think I met him on, uh, I saw him on, uh, oh, gee, Zach's Thursday Night Live. I saw him on that, a couple other ones. So, ba Papa Bear and Baby Bear, you got a pack coming. Send me your address to sportspg at aol.com. That's my email. S-P-O-R-T-S-P-G at aol.com. All right, there we go. That's lucky. Geez, first time uh, comment. <laughs> All right. We got Matt Khalil's autograph coming next. All right. Let's see here. Here it comes. Oh, Fidel, Day One Savage. Hey, he's got a great featured channel down below. Day One Savage. Fidel wins the Matt Khalil autograph. All right. We got the two a rookie. Let's see. Here it comes. Oh, Sean Sabara. Sean Sabara. He's a long time uh, watcher of the videos. Yep. And CD Lamb. Oh. Here it comes. Lucky card pulls. Lucky card pulls with the CD Lamb. There you go. I think I have everybody's address except for Papa Bear and Baby Bear. If I don't hear from you, send, you know, like I said, send your uh, address to my email. If not, I'll message you if I don't hear from you a couple days. All right. We're going right to Warehouse Finds. All right. Here we go. We got some basketball first. Oh, we got a bunch of basketball. We got... Hey, uh, this is funny. We got a couple of Dr. J cards. This is this is good. They use the same picture, two different card companies. We got an SP Authentic, Dr. J. <laughs> and then we got a Fleer. It's the same photo. The same photo. Look at that. Uh, they steal from each other. Oh, we got some Michael Jordans. <laughs> we got a Fleer team leader, Michael Jordan. We got a one-on-one -on -one Anthony Hardaway, Michael Jordan. That's a nice card. Oh, wow. It actually has a lot of stuff on the back. It has a lot of uh, matchups, and it tells you when they matched up, too. It's got a Gary Payton, John Stockton matchup, Jason Kidd, Avery Johnson, Mookie Blaylock, and David Stoudemire. And it tells you the dates, what happened. Yeah, 
That's pretty pretty cool. We got an NBA All Star from Upper Deck, Michael Jordan. What year is that from? Ninety. Two ninety three. We got a Superstars of the Court from Upper Deck, Michael Jordan. It's a nice shiny card. We got a Jordan MVP Moments card. We got a Player of the Century from Upper Deck. This was a series from Upper Deck, because here's another one. And we've got, uh, oh, they made this insert set. Lots, lots, I mean, he, he was the best. I don't care what you say. He was the best. <laughs> and they made a lot of sets of him. This is a Fleer Jordan Restro Retrospective set. And there was quite a few cards. This is number 16. That's number 23. Number 15. And number 5. So we know they made at least 23 of them. All right. Oh. We go to another a bull. This guy, a lot of guys forget this guy. I believe he was on one or two championship teams. You guys from Chicago can uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But we got a Sky Tech Force, B.J. Armstrong. He was pretty good. He was on one or two of those championship teams. This is a Panini contender, Hall of Fame contenders, Chris Paul. Well, this was interesting. Upper Deck Draft Edition. It's a, a Stacy Augman, Larry Johnson, Kenny Anderson. But we want the autograph version. <laughs> I think they came autographed too, but we didn't get that one. Oh, this is nice. This, these are not, another NBA player of the day. These player of the day cards, they're kind of plain unless you get an insert. This was a nice one. I forget what they call this, but it was numbered out of... 150, Russell Westbrook. Yeah, that was, that's a flashy card. And then we got a Bowman Blue. Numbered out of 1948. It's one of the retros, Russell Westbrook. Oh, we got some Pokemons. Let's see here, Pokemons coming. <laughs> we got a Yvelto GX. All these are shiny cords. We got a double V. We got a Duraludon V. We got a Grap Locked V. Like a big octopus. Oh, this is nice. I know who this guy is. Mewtwo EX. That's a nice one. The artwork is crazy on these cards. I mean, very nice. We got a Genesect EX. We got a, I believe it, they called it Mega, because it's the M in the front. I can't remember. Mega Heracross EX. I believe it was a mega, they called it a mega. Some like Japanese writing on the bottom of the thing. They're cool. We got a Hatterene V. Oh, we got Pikachu V. Oh, this is a nice one. I like this one. This is after the movie. Detective Pikachu. There he is. Investigating. All right. Oh, football. We got a bunch of football here. Oh, there's some nice stuff here. Yeah. All right. Here we go with some football. We got a legendary contender, Deion Sanders. Neon Deion. We got a high praise from classic Deion. We got a Diamond King expressionist. Deion Sanders. We got a standing ovation, Deion Sanders. 
there was a, I'm on a couple of Yankee uh, Facebook groups. And somebody the other night asked, who was the fastest Yankee ever? And I thought Mickey Rivers. I forgot Dion. So probably between the both of them, you know, they were both pretty fast guys. <laughs> we got a, uh, these were nice. The Leaf, the, I'm not a big fan of Leaf, but I like these flashback cards. The uh, flashback draft, uh, we got Dick Buckus. He had some nice old timers in the flashback series. This is, uh, well, they, I guess he got drafted in 1965. Here we got a 1981 flashback, Lonnie Lott. That's a regular one, and then this is like a gold one. They had the regular and the gold. Then we got some Davanti Adams. We got a, uh, I want to say Vanguard. I keep forgetting the names. So many so many card brands, it's crazy. I'll say Vanguard, rookie card of Davanti Adams. That's from Topps. They were nice cards. We got a... Uh, Oh, Topps Platinum. So we got the regular Topps Platinum. Devontae Adams rookie. And then we got the, uh, like the Prism one. Oh, there goes the phone again. Sorry. It's, oh, the phone's going crazy. Hold on. Hello? Oh, Frank, I'm on a live video. What's going on? Can you call me back in like an hour? All right, thanks. Bye. That's the mayor. <laughs> so, <laughs> and he wants to talk. So he's got to call back. Sorry. Sorry about the interruption. <laughs> you never know who's going to call. The Mr. 95 Cent Hotline. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got football heroes. Jim Brown. And here's another football hero, Jim Brown. We got a mosaic old school Steve Young. We got a mosaic old school Julius Peppers. Heard his name in a while. We got a mosaic old school Roger Staubach. Oh, these Legends of the Falls cars are always nice. Uh, from Don Russ. Legends of the Fall. John Riggins, originally a Jet. And then we got a Legend of the Fall, Barry Sanders. Not bad. Oh, we got some baseball. And we got a Mookie Bet. All right, Mookie Bets. This is a 2022 opening day, blue, with the date on it and everything. A Mookie Bets, the blue version. The blue parallel with the date on it. We got some heritage then and nows. We got a uh, Steve Carlton, Clayton Kershaw. We got a Jim Bunning, Clayton Kershaw. And we got a Lou Brock, D. Gordon. Kershaw was popular in these because here we got a Sandy Koufax, Clayton Kershaw. All right. Now we got some Ivan Rodriguez, Pudge coming up. We got a, a score 90s impact player, Ivan Rodriguez insert. That's from 92 score. We got a pinnacle, Team 2000s. Ivan Rodriguez. This is just a regular card, but these fire cards are nice. I got a nice fire Ivan Rodriguez. Just a regular card. We got a bunt. This is from uh, 2016. Ivan Rodriguez. Oh, these were nice. The co-signer cards. Yeah, they were nice. But it's just a regular card from that set of Ivan Rodriguez. Oh, we got a Fleer Ultra Award winner, for, I believe from 94 Ultra. All right, 
now we got these upper deck. I'm trying to remember what set they're from. These are either from the GM series. I think they might be mixed too. The GM series or the Legends of Baseball. They made a couple sets like this. This is, uh, they got some really historical figures in these sets. Here's Kennesaw Mountain Landis. I think uh, he was the first commissioner of baseball. 1921. Oh, Warren Harding throws out the first pitch in 1923. Oh, there's a nice Lou Gehrig in 1925 when he played for Columbia. Oh, well, look at this one. 1866, it's a woman's team back in the day. The woman played baseball back then. Yeah. Oh, here's another one. 1908, Bloomer Girl, they called her, Alta Weiss. Wow. Bloomer Girl, a doctor's daughter from Reagansville, Ohio. She made her pitching debut in 1907 for the Vermilion Independence, an all-male semi-pro team. So she played with the men. <laughs> oh, World War I. Look at this here. 1918. They're playing the Star Spangled Banner. Huh? This guy was a good player, but you can blame him for all your high prices. I think he was the first free agent, Kurt Flood. Baseball was affordable before Kurt Flood. <laughs> uh, oh, who's this here? Connie Mack. Look at this, 1932. Connie Mack. Oh, I... This is the symphony band, the Dodgers symphony band. It's a classic from 1941. I haven't been up to the Hall of Fame in a long time. It's not that far from here. I, I don't know, maybe five hours, four hours uh, in New York. But last time I went, they had a full-size plaster of Paris uh, statues of the symphony band. Here we got an Annabelle Lee from 1944. She was in that league of her, uh, the original league of their own. Yeah. Oh, Branch Rickey in 1947 signing Jackie Robinson. Oh, Casey at the bat, the old professor, Casey Stangle. There he is. Okay, this is Henry Chadwick, 1857. He was a tireless promoter, cricket reporter, and he, he started playing, doing baseball promotions back in 1857. We got one more. Alexander Cartwright. I know that name. He he was, uh, I believe, he formed the New York Knickerbockers, which I think was one of the first baseball teams, and they played out of Cooperstown. Or around there. Yeah. Well, these, are, these are nice. These are the uh, upper deck, what do they call this here? Upper deck superstars, UD superstars. And they were nice. They had keys to the city cards. And this is Mike Piazza and Curtis Martin. They would combine sports and have, like, the best players. Now, this card is different. So this is from uh, 92 Upper Deck. And they're very nice cards. They actually give the kids good hints. Like here is Tony Gwynn and a lot of different hints about hitting around the back, on the front, sorry. And on the back, too. Heads down, eyes forward, rotate hips, legs bent, front leg straight. There you go. 
Here's another one, Ricky Henderson. Showing you how to how to uh, steal a base. What's he say? Eyes focused at the next base. Read pitcher's move. Get a good lead. Stay compact, head down, crossover step. These were hot cards to pull back in the day. In 1993, Leaf, remember the heading to the hall cards where well, we got Roger Clemens. Who knows if he'll ever make the hall. He's one of them steroid guys. <laughs> and we got Robin Yount. There he is. Robin Yount. But that was, they were not were not that easy to pull. They were a hot card back in the day. We got some Greg Maddox. We got a Topps Untouchable Greg Maddox. We got a 1993 Opeachy Star Performer Greg Maddox. We got a Pinnacle of oh, the Grips, the Circle Change. So that. Maddox is showing you how he grips the ball for the circle change. We got a Topps own the game, Greg Maddox. Uh, oh, these were nice upper deck inserts. VJ Lavero, remember those inserts? Uh, he was a photographer and they featured him. Here's uh, Barry Bonds with actually Griffey. There were different shots that he had. Here we got another one. We got Greg Maddox. And there were inserts out of that upper deck. That was, oh boy, the writing's so small. Wow. Looks like 96. All right. And we got, look at this here. Mark McGuire with Will Clark. And last but not least, I found a weird card from Upper Deck. 1997 Special Edition Shimano. I don't know. I have no idea what this is. But it's Tony Gwynn fish, catching a fish. It says Shimano on the back. It's from 1997. I don't remember the set. And... Card number six out of six, so I got to look that up. Apparently, there's only six cards in that set. Okay. Oh, wow, and that's, that's a lot of warehouse finds. But that's nothing compared to what we actually found. <laughs> Sorry. Let me take a little swing. Yeah, compared to what we actually found, that's peanuts. <laughs> I, I got... Luke cool and sick, but I got big stacks here waiting for you, Luke. Big stacks. <laughs> so, but uh, it'll be in. It'll be in Thursday. All right. So, we're going to go to card shop stories. And again, sometimes I have something planned. And then the history of the day comes in and my thoughts change. So, what we're going to talk about a little bit today. And... A couple little stories. One of my real good friends, I'm not going to mention the names either. Uh, he passed away three years ago, yesterday. And uh, no, and I'm, I'm wrong already. Jeez. He passed away a few weeks ago, uh, three years ago. But his birthday was yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> it's not easy with all the phone calls. They, they scramble up my mind. But anyway... So, uh, yeah, he, he was a real good friend. And I'm going to tell a couple of stories about him and his honor for his birthday. Yeah. So uh, I'm still in touch with his whole family. Uh, very wonderful people. And uh, we still miss him. Uh, he died during the pandemic. Nobody was able to go to his wake or funeral or anything. So it's still kind of hard to, to believe that he's gone because we never really... He got sick, and you couldn't go visit him because it was the pandemic. And he didn't die from COVID or nothing, but, you know, uh, you just couldn't visit him. It was, it was against the rules. So we never got to say goodbye to him either. That was a shame. 
on the phone. I'd call him up all the time. And even uh, when he couldn't respond, his wife would put the phone to his ear. You know, and uh, she says uh, the once the last story that I sent him because uh, he helped me out with something a while back, and it came to fruition. Oh, geez, a couple years later, and uh, I told him, uh, you know, through the phone that we were successful in that endeavor, and he, she says uh, he was kind of unresponsive, except that when he heard that, a, a little smile came on his face. So I'm in, a, in his honor. I'm going to say a couple stories we had together. We had a lot of stories together. We did shows together. We went all over the place, you know. Uh, so he came into the hobby. He didn't know that much about it, uh, not about cards anyway. He didn't know that much about the cards. He was more of a memorabilia guy, but he he learned quickly, of course. So uh, I helped him with the cards. Uh, because he was, he's in the store almost every day. So a couple of stories. Uh, one day I got a phone call while he was in the store. Some guy wanted us to buy a collection. And back in the day, I would I would leave the store once in a while. I, I was looking for stuff. You know, it was probably within the first two years of me opening up the store, you know. So I still actually needed stuff, you know, to put in my warehouse. So... I says, uh, I told the guy, yeah, we'll come look at your collection. And uh, my buddy was there, and he says, uh, is it okay if I come with you? I said, sure, no problem, right? Because he was looking to buy stuff, too, and that's okay. So we went, and the guy had a nice big house, and uh, he uh, showed us into the basement where he had two walk-in humidors. They were actually walk-in humidors. And he had cards in the humidors, boxes of cards, no full cases, just boxes. And we're talking, this is, I'm visiting this house in the 90s. So most of this stuff was from the 80s and 90s. He had some decent stuff. You know, uh, I think the oldest he went was maybe 84, you know, so he had some 84 tops, 85 tops. It's all right, you know. Uh, he had some of the newer stuff uh, back then, you know. Uh, but nothing that great, but that's okay, you know. I'd buy those boxes, put them out for packs, even if they were cheap, you know, or sell the boxes cheap, didn't matter. I was in the market for it, you know. And uh, so I, I looked over both Yuma doors and... I said to the guy, because I, well, first thing I noticed was weird was there was no full cases. And in some cases, he had more boxes than a case would hold of that product. So I, I said to him, uh, just out of the blue, and I don't know why I said it, do you have any singles? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he comes out with these binders full of singles. And I'll give you an example, 85 tops. So he had a binder of 85 tops. And in that binder was all the stars and and hot rookies, you know. Uh, and he had like a page or so of each, like a, a page of McGuire, a page of uh, Eric Davis, say, you know, who was hot back in the day. And uh, I said to myself, I don't see any other cards around here. Where's all the other cards? I mean, you know, there was other decent players, you know. Uh, and even like a guy might have his, even if a guy doesn't collect commons, he might collect his favorite player. Like say Yankees, you know, I, I keep all my Yankees unless I want to give some out, you know, some doubles. So uh, I said to them well, out of the blue, where's all the other cards? Oh, he says, we threw them out. I said, geez, there's some decent cards in there he threw out. Meanwhile, he at the time, Comic Ball, you could buy it for $5 a box. Meanwhile, he's got $5 Comic Ball boxes on the shelf. So that doesn't make much sense, you know. 
So right then I said to myself, this guy searched these packs. Those packs are very searchable, especially from the 80s, you know, the wax. And I said, let me make an excuse to get out of here. I said, because I'm not buying nothing. I got a feeling it's all searched. So anyway, uh, I made an excuse to get out. It's like something, okay, well, we'll formulate an offer. And uh, if we decide, we'll call you, that kind of thing, you know. So I said, and I think I said, I'll call him either way. So we left. As soon as we left, my buddy says to me, what are, what are you crazy? He's got some good stuff in here. We got to buy it. I said, no, 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 no. It's all been searched. He goes, what? I says, yeah. I says, it's all been searched. I said, I'm almost 99% positive. He's got a page of or so of McGuire's, a page of this guy, a page or so, and he's got nothing else. I says, he searched those packs. And why, why would he have extra boxes more than a case? He opened multiple cases, you know. So, uh, we didn't buy nothing. I called the guy up and I said, uh, listen, I says, we just decided not to go for it. I didn't say nothing bad. And it was funny. Uh, the following week, I was doing a major show in the area. It was a weekly show. He showed up to sell to the wax guys. The one wax guy that uh, I knew, who well, I knew them all anyway, but the one wax guy he was talking to and then he left I, I said, I better warn this guy because he doesn't know. I says, you know, I says, are you going to buy his load? He goes, yeah, I'm going to buy that load. Uh, and I said to him, uh, geez, I says, you know, I got a feeling 95% anyway, because I was at his house that it's all search packs. And he said to me something that really made me lose respect for this guy. And I never trusted him afterwards. He goes, I'm packing it out. What do I care? In other words, he's selling the wax and the packs. He don't care if anybody don't get anything. He's not going to open it, you know. So I lost a lot of respect for him there. But anyway, that's one story about my buddy. Then another story was uh, we used to do a lot of shows. We used to do a lot of business with show promoters. So I had a lot of uh, autographs that I had through private signings. I'll give you an example. I had uh, Bucky Dent at the store. And I had a hundred of those Bucky Dent, uh, uh, Mike Torres home run pictures where he hit the, the, the Babe Ruth curse home run against the Red Sox <laughs> signed by Bucky, Bucky Dent. And I needed them. No, wait, I'm wrong. They were signed by Mike Torres. I had a hundred of them that were signed by Mike Torres and I needed Bucky Dent. And Bucky Dent was going to do this Yankee show that, uh, the one girl, what was her name? She ran the shows out of the Meadowlands. Nice girl. I knew her. So uh, I, said, I said to my buddy, if you need anything, you know, autographed by anybody there, we're going to do a deal with her, you know. So by deal with her, I meant we're either going to get, uh, we're going to buy two, 300 autographs minimum, you know. So I had him, what you do that in that case, if you're a, a dealer buying that many autographs, I think we were buying like 400 autographs, you uh, pack it all up nice. And you put on the instruction sheet what you want, right? So I put on the uh, Bucky Dent Babe Ruth curse inscription, right? And my buddy was looking over the sheets and he he says, the inscription's extra. I said, no, no, no. I says, I'm buying 100 Bucky Dent autographs. Who's going to buy 100 Bucky Dent autographs? I deserve inscriptions too. So he goes, you're not going to get them. I says, she's a nice girl. She's going to give them to me. Right? So I didn't know. So I we packed it all up on a hotel dolly. And then we we uh, we uh, gave it to the powers to be. And we had to wait around because, you know, you got to wait for the guys to, to go up in the show. Either they sign in the room before they sign after they sign at the show. So we were at the show for half the day at least. Uh, just hanging around, and it was funny. Uh, the company, this is back, this is in the 90s. The company had uh, their own certification. So if you went to their show and got something autographed, you can go to their table, and they would 
stamp the autograph with their certification and give you a little certificate thing. We were hanging around there mostly because uh, my buddy knew the guy that was behind the table. I, I sort of did too. And we were talking to him a lot. And uh, it was then and there that I said, I can never honor one of their certificates because this hotel, you walk through a hallway, there was restrooms and this and that. There was, a, in, in, in one of the hallways of the restroom, that's where they had their tables, two tables set up so they could certify autographs, sell some autographs, whatever. Uh, and then you kept going in the hallway into the big room. And then the other side of the big room was the athlete signing. So the guy didn't actually see it being signed. He would just stamp it. And that's the first time I saw that. And I knew they had their own certificate. And I, I said, well, geez, they got the guys at the show. So I'm thinking they're real. So I didn't have no problem once in a while buying their product from customers, you know. Uh, but I stopped because I said to myself, say, uh, I don't know, uh, Joe Torrey's there, right? They've had Joe Torrey. They've had almost every Yankee in the past. So uh, if I walk in there, even if I go in and get one Joe Torrey autograph, but I got six pictures under my shirt. And I go into this other room where that guy didn't see nothing. He didn't see me getting it signed. There's no receipt or anything. And he's going to stamp them all as real. So that's when I said, I, I can't trust their stuff no more. But anyway, so that's just a couple stories. We had a lot of adventures. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And a lot of us guys, a lot of guys that came to the store and know me, know who this person is, but you know, I don't want to bring out his name, but, uh, and he's, it was very well known in the hobby. So uh, just a couple of recollections in honor of him. And I appreciate you listening to my card shop story about, about little adventures with my buddy. All right. We're going right to the box break. All right. So what's this now? 2023 big league baseball. Find instant win redemptions to have your favorite players follow you back on social media. Ooh, watch out. <laughs> Find five exclusive electric orange parallels inside. Ten packs. Looks like eight cards per pack. Eighty cards, maybe. A, a lot of different stuff in here. Wow, they got a chance for autographs. They got a chance for gold foils, rainbow foils, chromes. Keep an eye out for become a big leaguer. Oh, I gotta, I gotta read that. It's actually the, the, that looks interesting. Let me see. I gotta take the plastic off so I can read it. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Keep an eye out for Become a Big Leaguer. Scratch off cards for a shot at making your trading card debut in 2024. Oh, so I can get my own trading card. Watch out. Well, we're going to have a long video today, sorry, <laughs> because, uh, geez, this one's 43 minutes. I've been, I've been talking a lot. Okay, here we go. So, in the essence of time, we'll show you the bigger stars, I guess, right? Hopefully, we get some. Oh, we got a Gleber Torres from the Yankees. They always have, oh, right away, City Slicker Rookie Card, Corbin Carroll, right off the bat. And I got an Ozzy Albies foil. Look at that. And I got a Shoei Otani. And a Noah Syndergaard. Not bad for the first pack. Uh, these boxes are on Target.com for $24.99. That's where I got them. I might be able to buy, I bought a few just to have them. I got a feeling I'm going to end up getting them for 20 bucks down the road, but we'll see. Oh, hello. My name is Ronald Acuna Jr. Those are nice, like graffiti. Oh, we got a foil Spencer Strider. Oh, look at this mascot card, Rangers captain. Wow. Oh, Luis Severino, he's on the Mets now. 
All right, so so far I'm getting something in every pack, which is nice. They always got some nice. This is good stuff. I mean, I like it. The kids, kids. This is nice stuff for kids too. Let's see. We got El Hicos. Got an orange parallel at Lost and Hayes. We got an 8-bit baller, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Look at this. We got a foil Jazz Chisholm. That's about it on that one. We got a James Outman rookie card. Travis Swaggerty rookie card. Oh, this is funny. This is a sticker, it looks like. Juan Soto. Lifting weights. We got a foil Matthew Libertori rookie. Oh, look at this. This is nice. This is a like a, this is that orange foil they're talking about. Alec Burleson rookie card. That's nice. But they're nice looking cards. They got a nice photo on them. They're pretty, uh, I won't say plain, but nice basic design. We got a Drew Waters rookie card. We got Kyle Schwarber. We got a City Slicker Manny Machado. An orange Marcus Stroman. A foil Ezekiel Tovar rookie. And they give you quite a few cards. 80 cards. That's not bad for 25 bucks. That's a lot of inserts. Let's see here. Oh, we got another one of those. Hello, my name is Aaron Judge. They call them roll call cards. That's nice, Aaron Judge. We got a foil Kyle Tucker. Charlie Blackman. I want to get one of them, uh, what do they call them again? Become a big leaguer. I want to be a big leaguer. <laughs> Oh, 8-Bit Bowler, Derek Jeter. I can't go wrong with this box. I'm doing good with my Yankees here. We got a foil, Jeremy Pena. And a Mike Trout. Oh, my Yankees are doing good. They, they swept the Astros, which I always like. <laughs> Sorry, Astro fans, but I still remember the garbage cans. I can't get it out of my head. What's this here? Lewis Robert. I don't know what this is. A fun box card or something. We got an orange Thyro Estrada. Oh, foil Wander Franco. I wonder where he's hiding. Did they catch him yet? I don't know. <laughs> They're not reporting too much on him anymore, right? Josh Smith rookie, a Tyler Freeman rookie, a Freddie Freeman city slicker, got a foil Hunter Brown rookie card, a Kodai Senga rookie, and one more pack to go. Let's see. We got an orange Cabrian Hayes. Oh, I'm doing real good with my Yankees. Hello, my name is Roll Call Card Babe Ruth. Can't beat that. Look at that, the Babe. We got a foil Miguel Vargas rookie card. Nasty Nestor. <laughs> and that's about it. That's good, though. I thought that was a good box. Well, I got my, I got my Yankees. Uh, nothing gigantic, but not bad. They give you a lot of cards, you know. So, 
I mean, uh, for the, for 24, 25 bucks, not too bad. And that's my box break. All right, we're going to get ready to close now because we've been going too long. Over 50 minutes, this video. Jeez. All right. So don't forget, Saturday, there will be no show because I'm going to do the card show from Sunday, the first card show of the season, April 7th, this Sunday, 9 to 3 p.m., at the Independence Firehouse in Great Meadows, New Jersey. So, I don't know when we're going to put post that video. Sometime Sunday. Probably later, because usually the internet up there ain't that good. There's, there's more cows than internet. But anyway, so, first out of the box, if you comment on this video and you're a subscriber, you got a chance for these prizes on that Sunday video. A 2020 Topps Archive Baseball Pack. I, I got that out of the archives. 2020. That's for first out of the box. Second out of the box, we got a Bowman's Best Refractor autograph card of Ben Hernandez. Third out of the box, these are nice cards. I like these. This is the Griffey Holographic Limited Edition from 1992. Griffey the Kid. I don't know if you can see that. And fourth out of the box, we got a Diamond King Portraits Jackie Robinson card. There you go. So all you got to do is comment on this video and be a subscriber. And you got a chance for one of those prizes. And that's it. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot, everybody, for tuning in. If you're in the area, stop by the card show on Sunday. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, don't forget, we got the eBay Sports PG on eBay, over 15,000 items on there. A lot of them start in auctions at 95 cents. Also on COMC, we're Mr. 95 cents, MR 95 cents on COMC. I think there's like 46, 47,000 items on there, most under a dollar. So check it out. We got a lot of good stuff. All right, we're getting ready to sign off. A long video today. Thanks for keeping it in there. All right. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and don't forget, collect what you like, because if it goes up or down, you still like it, and try not to spend more than 120 on a box, because what we're getting out of this stuff ain't worth that kind of dough. <laughs> All right, take care now, everybody. Have a good one.